Okay. Hi guys, I'm gonna wait for everybody to jump on and hope that I am live. Okay, yeah, I think I'm officially live in here. So as you jump on, let me know if I'm in the right group. I think that I am, but I just wanna make sure. Um, Facebook like totally changed the way that they do lives on desktop. So once you jump on, let me know that you're here, say hi. We're in the right group. I do see that we're in refresh, refocus, reimagine, so that's good. But um, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes for more people to jump on, and then we're gonna dive in. So in the meantime, hi. Oh, that's a good idea too. So when you say hi, let me know where you're from because it's kind of cool to see where. Oh my gosh, Australia, what? What is the time difference? Oh, this camera's backwards, I forgot. Hello, hi, New Zealand. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. From all over the world, that's super cool, super cool. I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes. Hey, Stacy. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes so that more people can jump on. I meant to jump on at seven, but here it is, 7.30, and I'm just now jumping on, so that's okay, we're gonna make it work. Um, North Carolina, I love the Carolinas. 6.30, Louisiana, cool, cool. Okay, Tennessee, nice. So I have my, hold on. <laughs> I have my mommy juice to get me through this training. So I hope that you guys have a drink of your choice and a notepad because I'm gonna share a lot of some really good, good like tips and tricks and whatnot that will hopefully help you to bring simplicity back into your business because it's super beneficial. Like all of the fluff and stuff is not worth it if it's not making you money. So we really want to focus on the simple things that are going to make you money and going to make your business grow. So Cincinnati, Ohio. Yup, yup. I used to live down there. I'm in Cleveland now. So we're about two minutes in. I'm going to wait until it's like 7.30 on the dot, 7.30 my time on the dot, and then we'll kind of dive in. So um, earlier today, I made a poll in this group, and I don't know if you guys specifically saw it, but a lot of you did, and I asked pretty much what you were interested in um kind of digging into as far as simplicity in your business goes. And most people said that, hello, Tiffany. Most people said that they wanted to focus on simplicity in recruiting. And then the second one was um, simplicity in attraction marketing. And then I think the third one was a VIP group. So we're gonna really kind of focus in on recruiting and how you can do that in the most simple way possible. And um, then we're, and that's also, and one and the same, going to touch on attraction marketing because attraction marketing has a lot to do with helping to boost your recruiting success. So that's what we're going to do. Um, one more minute. This camera's backwards, and it really bugs me because I'm, I never know like which way to move because I'm thinking that I need to move this way, but like really, it's the other way. So, hey from Georgia. Hi, Whitney. And while we're waiting for people to jump on, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Nikki Toygo. I am a director out of Cleveland, Ohio. I have a daughter who I love. She's my best friend, and she's kind of what helps drive. She's one of the reasons why I started Sensi. She helps um, drive me in reaching success within this business because I am a single mom, and I want to be able to provide for her the way that I feel like she deserves, um, even if it is just me that's providing for her. So, um yeah. Okay. So it's almost, okay. So it just turned 730. Um, anybody that catches the replay, just drop that below. Otherwise just let's jump in. Right. Okay. So if the first thing that we're going, and I do have my notes, so I hope that you guys have a notepad because I have a lot to share and I actually have a document I'm going to go over and then I'm going to share it in the file section. So, um, you will get this as soon as I'm done with the training. Ooh, we have Canada in the house. What would or should our daily routine consist of the successful in this business? I mean, honestly, hi, 
Michelle. Oh, yay. I didn't know you were jumping on. I miss you. Um, okay. So as far as your daily routine, on, I can't sit here and tell you if I'm going to be completely authentic. I can't sit here and tell you what your daily routine should consist of because I don't know, you know, like your work balance life. I'm not sure what that is and I'm not sure what you already have set up as your routine. But what I would recommend is that you do sit down and kind of think like, okay, how much time um, every day? should I be putting into my business? That would be the first thing. Like, these are the things that I know that I need to do. I know that I need to be following up with people. I know I need to be trying to book parties. I know I need to, you know, um, be reaching out to my customers and this, that, and the other. Like, what are the most, what are your top priorities to make your business successful? And then kind of figure out, like, how much time would that would that be like if I was able to touch on each of these top priority things a day how much time would that take and then from there you can kind of figure out how it works within your schedule to be able to you know allocate time and resources and whatnot and maybe it's not something that you do every day maybe it's you know on the weekends when you have some extra time that's when you really kind of hone in to all the things that are important to you and all the things that you need to get done in your business so that's a very like um, subjective kind of focus and it's just not something that I can kind of give a general answer for but I hope that that helps so okay okay so that's Missouri hey Ashley hi I'm Michelle um okay so I think that we're ready to kind of jump in so that's what we're gonna do and the first thing so this whole topic is going to be about bringing simplicity back into your business because we all know that first of all it's really difficult to keep things simple within this business because raise your hand if you see things that other consultants are doing and you're like oh my gosh I should be doing that too like that's beautiful or that's awesome or I want to be able to do that or I want to be able to offer that and so then you kind of play this comparison game and you're like, I don't know how to do what they're doing, but I know that I want to do it because it looks really cool. And it's those things that you need to not be doing. It's those things that you need to, hi, Mel from the UK. It's those things that you need to kind of not let yourself focus on because that's not like income producing and comparing yourself and comparing your business to what other people are doing is just not what you want to do and I know that it's hard because we're all in this together and we're all kind of doing the same thing we all have the same goals in a way and so when you see somebody doing something that you're not doing you kind of want to do that too and then you want to get on Amazon and you want to buy the supplies that they got and then you want to make the little cute goodies that they made and then you want to get them out to your customers but in reality it's like is that right for you like is that correct for your business or no it might be right for their business but maybe not for you and um, I say all this to say because I have spent a lot of time doing that like I have spent a lot of time in my business doing all the fluffy stuff because it looks pretty but in reality like that's not what makes me money. What makes me money is getting back to the basics and doing the simple things that I know that I need to do in order to achieve what it is that I want to achieve. And that doesn't mean making super pretty samples and packaging them up super pretty and spending a bunch on like postage. You know what I mean? Like it's just you have to figure out what that is for you. But my biggest thing, especially in 2021, I decided is that I want to be as efficient as possible. So that means I want to do the things that I know are going to work that aren't going to take all of this time and I'm barely going to see an ROI on it. Like I'm barely going to get anything back. That's not what I want to do this year. So I'm going to share with you guys some things that you can do this year so that you are being as efficient as possible as well. So because the biggest um, response was in recruiting, simplicity in recruiting, that's what I'm going to go into first. Um, and a while back, I created this document. I'm about to show it to you guys in a second. But so I called it the team building tune up. And on here, let's see if I can explain this while showing it to you guys. It doesn't really matter. You don't really need to see it all. But this is what it is. And so on here, what I have is create 
or update a list of five elite dream team members. So think of five people that you really want on your team. Um, so you're going to write their name. And then the next column says, how can Sensi bless them? Because in reality, like, you might want somebody on your team because you see them on Facebook or you see them on social media and they just like rock it out and they have a really great following and people want to hear what they have to say, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that Sensi would be the right solution to them. Just because you want them doesn't mean that they want Sensi. So if you're going to attract them to your team, then you need to figure out why they would want Sensi. Um, because it's very like, it's not attractive at all to be like, come join my team because I need another team member. No, you want people to join your team because it will benefit them in some way. So it's your job to do that research and figure out why this person could be blessed by Sensi. Hello, Paige. So that's the first part. And then the second part I have um, engage with each elite Dream Team members post, like on Facebook or whatever, three times each week. So then I have these little like charts right here. And so then each of these people would then be here. And then you would track how many times that you interact with their posts that they make because you want to be able to stand out. You want them, you want to be showing up in their notifications in a good way where they're like, oh, like she's paying attention to me and maybe I should start paying attention to her more, right? So then the next section I have add five new people you may know. So, you know, on Facebook, there's like the little um, section where it says people you may know. So every week you should be adding more people. And I know that some people are weird about adding strangers, but honestly, guys, like it's COVID life. We're not getting out. We're not doing events. We're not going to meet people. Like you need to meet people online. And that's just the reality of it. Like you got to weigh your options. Would you rather add people you don't know on Facebook that look like they might be able to commun like um, relate to you well, or would you rather not and then lose those opportunities? That's your call. Um, I suggest doing it because I have grown my business tremendously through Facebook by adding people in the people you may know section. Um, and then the last part is a weekly task tracker that is dedicated to you know these people and this system. So, and then, and just recruiting in general. So for example, one of the tasks is um, join conversations. So making sure that you are bringing up um, like the join opportunity and then there's four check marks in the week. So making sure that you're having four join conversations a week and that can be with whoever. And then one of them is pass out join packets. And so I have three in there. So three times a week, you're passing out join packets. And that can be as simple as making a post on Facebook and being like, I have these going out, you know, da, 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 and like these pretty packages that you're holding with your face in the picture, because, um, because Facebook always wants you to have your face in the picture. Otherwise, it messes up the algorithm and then people don't see your posts. So you always want to have your face in a picture as much as possible, especially when you're talking about the join opportunity. Um, so, you know, that's on there. Um, and then asking party hosts, that's on there. That's something that we'll get into in a little bit. And then adding all party guests on Facebook and then adding as a friend and then adding them into your VIP group as well. And then follow-ups. So making sure you're doing five follow-ups a day. Follow -ups a day. So I'm going to post this to this group after I'm done with this. Um, but I think that that's kind of like a good system to get started to help you kind of gain that traction and learn how to build those skills over time and a way for you. To, yeah, absolutely. Um, the more posts that you can have a picture or have your face in a picture, you're going to see a lot more engagement every time. Um, so yeah, so there's that document that I think that will really help you guys kind of kick like kickstart this recruiting thing in 2021. And I made it pretty simple because I'm a, like, I only really like simple systems. If it's too complex, it's not sustainable for me and I'm not going to do it. So I will share that in a little bit, but moving along, I'm going to go through my notes. So the team building tune up thing is a huge 
is a huge deal and, and something that could really help transform your business. Um, another thing that you guys want to make sure you're doing, and this is like super, super simple, but almost sometimes something that we just don't even think about because it is so simple. Like you need to be sharing your Sensi story all the time, like all the time. And I don't mean this is why I joined Sensi, but for example, if you go to the store and you buy something that maybe you wouldn't have been able to buy prior to joining Sensi or you went and you know got your nails done and your daughter's nails done together just for a little like mommy daughter date and you used your Sensi pay card to be able to do that like you need to be sharing those things you need to stay within compliance and make sure that you're posting the um, income disclosure stuff if it fits in that situation but you need to always be sharing your Sensi story and how Sensi is blessing you because if you're not doing that then people don't know like if you're not sharing how Sensi is blessing you and your family nobody's gonna know and then once you start sharing that like you're gonna educate people and then they're gonna start thinking like well I want to take my daughter out on a mommy daughter date like I want to be able to do that or I want to be able to buy my first home or I want to be able to buy a new car. So anytime Sensi blesses you, you need to be sharing that, like, period. Um, and then another another thing is, too, anytime that you're receiving happy mail from, like, one of your leaders congratulating you on anything, you need to be taking pictures of that and you need to be posting that in your story so that other, everybody can see, so that they can see the kind of community that Sensi does have and then be, like, you know, planting those seeds and they'll start thinking, like, It's literally just sharing your Sensi story and sharing how Sensi is blessing you and sharing the relationships that you have been able to accumulate over time because of Sensi. So the more that you share, the better um, you're going to be able to, hello from Nevada, the better you're going to be able to, you know, build up that base of people being interested in joining or maybe interested in hosting a party, which then you can end up recruiting them in that way as well, which we're about to get into. Um, that's literally my next bullet point is flipping hosts. So this is probably one of the easiest ways, like the most simple ways for you to get a recruit. That's by flipping your hosts. So when I have somebody doing a party for me, at the beginning of the party, I always say to them something along the lines of, just so you know, I offer this to all of my hosts. Um, I offer what I call like party gifting. And so what that means is not only will you get all of your host rewards that all like every party host gets with a qualifying party, but I also will gift you this party, meaning you will make cash from all of the sales that, you know, happen within this party. Hey, Lisa. Um, I hope that it's not freezing. I'm like fine on my side. Dang, it's freezing for you guys too. That's not good. I'm sorry. I'm not showing any kind of like internet issues over here. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to roll with the times that we're in. It's technology. So, um, okay. So anyways, back to host is flipping. So when you, okay, good, good. Hopefully recovered. <laughs> um, so when you are Nashville, Tennessee, yay. I like, that's kind of where I want to live one day. And I don't know why, because I've never even been there besides at the airport, but, uh, that's where I want to live. Okay. Okay. Fine here. Good. Okay. So I need to not be a squirrel and I need to stay focused. Sorry guys. So back to hostess flipping. I always offer the opportunity to the host. I let them know that they can make cash on this party if they want to, like they can make the commission from this party if it's something that they want to do. And I always just say, just think about it. You know, we'll see how the party goes. And then from there, of course, you want to make sure that you're doing really good hostess coaching so that they know how to like have a really awesome party. Because then by the end of it, let's say they have, you know, a $500 party and they get all this free stuff. First of all, they're going to get their kit for free. They're going to get their half off and then they're going to make a hundred dollars just from having a party. You know what I mean? Like, so you need to be letting these, you need to be letting your host know that this is an option. And so I do that in the very beginning before the party ever even starts. And I've gotten recruits because of that. So I highly recommend that. It's a really simple way to just drop those seeds. Um, 
The next thing I have on here is attraction marketing. So this is something that for some people comes just like very natural and some people it takes a little bit of training. So that means maybe get on Google and type in attraction marketing and how can I make attraction marketing work for me. The way that I may have it work for me is every time I make a post on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, I think about how my audience is going to perceive that post. So when I write my caption, I'm writing to my audience that's reading it. Like I'm writing to them. I'm not writing for me. I'm writing to them. Like I'm telling them a story. If you attended World Tour yesterday, which was really freaking awesome, um, then you heard about, you heard the keynote about the power of sharing the story. So even in captions, like the most simple captions, um, you can share a story within there and it, even if it's not sensory related, you just need to think like, how is this being perceived on the other end? And is this something that I would, that would capture my eyes if I'm scrolling through Facebook, uh, would I stop and read this caption? And that's just kind of how you need to do that. And within attraction marketing as well, you need to be very careful about what you're posting about. I don't post about politics. I don't post about religion. I don't post about any kind of controversial topic. I don't do that because I don't want to turn anybody off, for one. For two, I don't want that negative energy in my life anyways. Like, I don't want this, like, debate thing going on. It doesn't, that doesn't serve me or my purpose, and it definitely doesn't serve my business. So, um, I definitely, definitely recommend you guys thinking about those things before you go and make your post. Like, okay, does this serve me? Is this speaking to the audience that I want to attract? And if not, then tweak it or don't post it or change it to something else. But you need to ask yourself those questions before you make a post because social media, like this is where your brand exists. This is where your business exists. Um, especially because of COVID. So you need to be very, very, very mindful about what you're posting and how you're posting it because other people are seeing it and you're either going to turn people away or you're going to attract them to you. And the goal is to always attract them to you. So um, be mindful of that. Another part of that too in um, like posting and whatnot is I really, really, really recommend you going live whenever you can. I mean, not like crazy, but let's say you just got a, a Sensi box. And it, so like unbox that, go live and unbox what's in it and show people your Sensi haul or whatever. And most importantly, or especially if it's a, um, like a host party order, like show people like, this is what my host got for free. Isn't this awesome? You know, that kind of stuff. Go live and keep it simple. Like it doesn't have to be, nothing has to be extravagant. I'm literally sitting on my couch right now with my laptop in front of me on like a TV tray table. That's how I'm going live right now. And that's exactly how I went live the other night when I did an unboxing of all the new releases. It's literally not that big of a deal. Like literally not that big of a deal. Everybody is just like you. Everybody is nervous to do it too. But you're, you, the only way to break that nervousness is to just do it and like not overthink it. Just simplify it down like, okay, I'm about to click this live button. Here we go. And I'm just going to talk. And that's what I do. And, um, you know, if you have your bloopers and whatnot, that's fine too. Like laugh at yourself or whatever. It doesn't matter. But that's the way that people are going to really be able to connect with you, especially during a time when everybody's at home, like nobody's out and about. So they want to hang with you. So go live. And if you want to go live in your VIP group first to kind of get comfortable with it, then do that. And then maybe you can work your way up to your personal page. But just don't overthink it. Like keep it simple. Just show, just like show, demo a Sensi product or do an unboxing or something of that sort or even go live to share happy mail that you got from your director or whatever, you know, like do those little things. And over time you'll learn like, Oh, this really isn't that difficult. It's something that I can do a lot. And I can guarantee you that there are going to be people watching you live. Like they're going to watch you while you're live and they're going to want to watch you as you go live more because they're going to relate to you or connect to you or they're going to like your awkwardness or your, punny jokes like me, you know, I mean, I like make up the dumbest jokes, but like some people like that. And those are my people and that's who I want to attract. So you need to do the same thing and find your niche and your people and they'll keep coming back for more too. Um, 
your live was kind of crazy the other day. I'm pretty sure that majority of my lives are crazy. Usually I'm yelling at my daughter to be quiet or my dog because he's allowed to, or I look a hot mess or I'm like in my car or whatever. But like, that's the thing is it doesn't matter. Like it's really not that big of a deal, but it does have a really big impact. And so that's why it's important for you to do. It's just not important for you to overthink it. So going live and then um, another thing that I want to touch on is the Amy app. So it used to be called Maven and now it's Amy and um, it kind of does all the work for you as far as, far as like follow up goes. So it will track, you know, your hosts and what people, your hosts, your customers or your prospects like recruiting prospects. And it'll like send you notifications like, hey, you haven't talked to this person in a long time or hey, this person just purchased this. You should follow up. And it's that follow up, like that consistent follow up that is going to help you grow your business. One of my favorite quotes is the fortune is in the follow up because if you're not following up with people, then you're not giving them any reason to keep you top of mind. So you need to be doing that. And the Amy app makes it super easy because it takes all of the like guests work out of your work is that the right way that I want to word that I don't know but you know what I mean like you don't have to think about it Amy just tells you hey it's time to follow up with this person so um my dog barks or my husband was needing to help fix my <laughs> yep I mean it happens you know like that's life and that's the thing is like other people want to see that you're just like them like you they have these crazy things happening in life so do you and you are comfortable enough to go live and share that with them and they want to be a part of that like they want to be a part of that energy whatever energy that you're putting out is the energy that they're going to be receiving and as long as it's positive and it's fun and even if it's like funny or silly or goofy or whatever like that's fine because people like that that makes them feel better about themselves and you want to in the whole business of recruiting you want to make people feel better about themselves so you know so there's that, um, and then that goes into my next note, which is also about attraction marketing, which we already kind of covered, but within that, I have my note says, they, these people feed off of your energy. Your audience feeds off of your energy, and you know that, because even when you're scrolling on Facebook and you see a random video of like some like really heinous things that are going on or whatever, like immediately your heart kind of sinks, and you're or your stomach kind of sinks, your heart starts racing, and you're just like, this is ugly, I don't like this, and I'm going to either scroll on, or I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay, like, sucked into this video, and then I'm going to feel like crap, because this is not something that I wanted to watch, and now I'm, like, upset over what I just saw. That, and then the other spectrum, where if you're scrolling, and you see, like, a really happy, funny, whatever kind of video, and it makes you laugh, and it, like, boosts your energy, and it, you know what I mean? Like, so you can be that for other people. You can be that kind of driving positive energy force and that's what you should be because that's how you're going to attract those kind of people to your team. That you acting like that is how you're going to attract those similar people to your team and those are the people that you want on your team. The positive ones. The ones that are looking for a reason to stay high energy and do good things with their life. Those are the people, those are your people but you need to act like that in order to get that, if that makes sense. Um, so, and then the other thing, um, the third, sorry, my laptop just gave me a notification that it's dying. So the third most voted um, poll option within this group was how to simplify your VIP group. And so I am a single mom, I work full time, I have no help from anybody in my family or my child's dad or anything like that. So it's just me and it's just her. I work full time and then I do Sensi. And so I'm very busy all the time. I'm always on the go. And then on the weekends, I kind of like to sleep in a little bit and like chill because I never get to. Um, so for me personally, it doesn't make the most sense to be posting um, in my VIP group all the time because I honestly just, I either forget or like I just don't have the right content to post at the time that I want to post. So my um, suggestion would be for like figure out a day of the week that um, is most like you have the most time to be able to sit down quiet, no kids, no husbands, no whatever bothering you where you can schedule out your posts for the week. So if that's a Sunday, 
then do that on Sunday and schedule out, schedule out what posts you want to put in your VIP group throughout the week. And you can schedule those posts. You can schedule what day they get posted and you can schedule what time of that day they're going to be posted. And so if you do all that on Sunday, guess what? You're consistently posting in your group throughout the week and your VIPs are seeing like posts from you all week long and you only it only took you a day to get it all done. So that's how that's my opinion on how to simplify your VIP group by doing that. And then let's say there's like an LTO that's coming out. Okay, well then that's way easier for you to kind of like pull off the workstation, you know, from the news, whatever, get a um, marketing image and whatever and share that with them like, hey, this is releasing today. But like, you know, and doing that every now and then, that's fine. But at least if you're setting time aside once a week to get all of the normal weekly posts ready and set, you're not, you know, you're not worrying about that not happening and your LTO post won't be sporadic and it, that won't be the only thing that you're posting in your VIP group because you'll be having your interactive posts. You'll be having your Wax Wednesday posts or whatever it is that you choose to do because you have already set that up and it's already done. So it's not something that you have to worry about. Sunday is my scheduling day. Yep, exactly. So Sunday, like for me, is a day to get ready for the week. So I'm doing laundry too and I'm getting outfits set up for the week because it makes it way easier to have an outfit already planned for my daughter and myself in the morning rather than me scrambling around trying to figure out what the heck we're going to wear. So like Sundays are my prep for the weekdays too. So that's why for me, that's the best time to schedule my VIP group posts. So that is how I think you should be able to bring some kind of simplicity into your VIP group. Um, and that's just as simple as scheduling those posts out ahead of time. And then the last thing, and this is like the most basic thing in the world, the most simple thing in the world, but it's just something that like we either get scared to do or we don't remind ourselves of enough or whatever the case is. I don't really know. But guys, as far as anything goes in your business, the most simple thing that you can do to get a level of success in your business is open your freaking mouth. <laughs> like just open your mouth. However you choose to do that, whether that's going live or following up with your customers or like offering the join opportunity or whatever it is, but you have to open your mouth. Like it goes back to that um, statement, closed mouths don't get fed. No, they don't. Because if your mouth is closed, you can't, like you cannot consume food, right? So if your mouth is closed in your business, you can't consume success in your business because you need to open it up. You need to be talking to people. You need to be connecting with people. You need to be offering the opportunity. Don't get so caught up on what the right things are to say. Just open your freaking mouth. Like that is the most simple thing that I can share with you guys. That is the best way to simplify your business. Just open your mouth and do it consistently. You have to ask people if they want to join. You have to ask people if they want to book a party. You have to let your hosts know that they can join and make cash off their party if they want to. You have to follow up with your customers and see if they like their stuff. And you have to follow up with them and see if they want anything more. Because if you're not doing those things, then you're leaving like it up. You're leaving that chance up for luck. And there's no telling if that's going to happen. Like, there's no telling that your customer is going to get their order and say, oh my gosh, I love this so much. I think I want more. But if you're opening your mouth up and you're following up with them and you're letting, you're happy that they got their order and blah, 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 whatever, that like triggers something in their head. Like, I actually really do love this. I think my mom might love this too. I think I kind of want to order more or whatever that scenario is. But it all starts with you opening your mouth and not overthinking it. Simplify it. Hey girl, um, I saw that your package arrived yesterday. Did you like it? Or hey girl, I know that you mentioned a couple months back that you really wanted to host a party because you wanted to get some free Scentsy. We're getting a new catalog and the stuff in it is freaking amazing. I want to put that in your home and I want, it, I want to get it to you for like super cheap or free or half off or whatever. Are you ready? Because I am. You know what I mean? Like just keep it super simple, but you always have to open your mouth. Like you have to open your mouth if you want to have a successful business. That's just how it goes. So those are my biggest tips. If you haven't um, checked out the other things that I posted throughout the day, 
I did post a tutorial on how to make a QR code. Um, that's important because then your customers can't type in your URL wrong. Um, all they have to do is pick up their phone and open the camera and scan the QR code and it brings them to your website. So I posted a how-to on that. I um, also posted a training that I did showing what I do with some business supplies when it's about to be a new catalog season, but I don't want to throw all of my old season stuff away. So, but those are things that you can also do within a new catalog season as well. Um, I call them my fun pockets. So those are cool. And then the other thing, the other training that I posted was the ABCs of branding. So if you need help kind of figuring out your branding process or what you want your branding to look like and feel like, I definitely recommend you checking out that video because it literally goes from like the very baby stages of developing your brand. And then I even go into Canva, which is a like graphic design software, and I show you how to make some graphics for your business. So I definitely recommend you guys doing that. Um, but that's that's what I got today. So if you have any questions, post them here before I jump off, and I will try my best to answer them. But like I said, the biggest thing, and I know it sounds so simple, um, but honestly, the the best way to simplify your business is literally just by opening your mouth. Like, don't let fear get in the way. Open your mouth. Ask that person if they want to join. Ask that person if they're ready to have a party. Ask that person if they really liked their um, order that they just received. Ask that person if they have anybody that they can refer to your business that would be interested in making more money or whatever it is. But you have to ask. Like, And the more no's that you get just means that's the closer you're going to get to a yes. So don't be afraid of the no's. Don't be afraid at all. Just open your mouth and ask. So that's what I got. I'm going to jump off here. I hope that you guys got some kind of value out of this. I'm going to post this document as soon as I jump off of here. Um, if you watch the replay and you have any questions, then just comment on this video. Make sure you tag me because things get lost in the shuffle. I might not see it unless you tag me. And um, that's that. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. If you're in Australia, I don't know, or is it like Sunday and Sunday morning? Um, Whitney, I'm glad that you liked the video on Canva. I'm glad it was helpful. So that's that, guys. I wish you so well with this new catalog season coming up. I'm so excited. There's so much cool stuff coming. Um, I'm just ready to, like, have a new year. And I know that, like, COVID's not gone, but I feel like we're getting closer to a time where we can finally, like, breathe again and hopefully spend time with each other again. Hopefully I see you guys at SFR, everybody that's in Region 1 at least, um, and I can squeeze you and hug you and ask you how your um, spring-summer catalog season went. So have a great night. Sunday lunchtime? Yes, perfect. Oh, Andrew, hi. I love you. I hope you had fun. I miss you guys. Um, all right. I'm going to jump off here before I get emotional, <laughs> before I get emotional, because sometimes I just do. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, just tag me in this video and I will get to it. Make sure you check out all the other trainings that I posted earlier today and keep an eye out for this, um, team building tune up document. I'm about to post here in just two minutes. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.